Hey guys, what's up? Synergy here, and I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay, guys. I know it's been a while, but today we are actually going to be bringing out the auto pistol. So we're going to get into this gameplay, guys, and we're going to talk you through it. It's 142 points of attrition. Yes, you heard me right, and it is using the MK5 auto pistol. Um, so we're actually playing this one on the Odyssey at the minute. And as you can see here, doo -doo 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 -doo, you can see the lobby, it's nothing special in the lobby or anything like that, um, but it's never to say that an unranked player isn't going to be any good to be honest with you. The burn card that I'm actually going to be using is Ghost Squad with this weapon, because what you'll find that you need the MK5 to be is more of a stealthy approach to things, and basically you've got to sort of pick your routes a bit more wisely, um, in other words, don't go running through the centre of the map because you're not going to win a gunfight over a, let's say, RC-101 carbine. And you can see, just for random example, this first guy, bloody hell. Um, I don't even know how I'll pick that kill up. Um, what you want is you do want a good backup as well in case you do get in those close-up fights. Um, my backup is the other pistol which is the RE45 pistol and what you'll basically find with that pistol is it's fast. Simple as that. And because it's fast it's going to be pretty beast there in close range combats as well. But like here, for example, I can just use my auto pistol to pick him up. This guy got his back turned to me, and there you go, we pick up a double kill with it, guys. Alright, so all I'm doing here is I'm just basically taking out some grunts, and then I end up with two humans around here. I end up backing off there, and bringing out the secondary to take him out as well. So that was a two-on-one situation, um, as you can see there, basically what I didn't do is I didn't run straight into that pack, and all I'm going to do is going to keep rolling. So we've actually got our Titan in at the moment, and what I've done is I've put my Titan into follow mode. There you go, we pick up that human kill. And that guy actually tried to drop kit me there, but we ended up taking him out as well. Now there's two different sides to the auto pistol, guys. Um, basically, side A is where it does lock on. Uh, the other side to it is where you can actually trigger finger it. So basically, um, it's a pretty powerful weapon. It's a lot underrated and everything like that, I mean some people don't like to use it. I do actually quite like this weapon, I do have to say, because the gameplays that I've got in it are usually um, quite high. Right, so moving on, just going down to roof side now. There you go, we'll take out those grunts. Now you're going to see at the end of the gameplay guys basically how well they actually do in this one. Um, I'm going to be uploading two different clips. Um, one of my curses is I always get at least one death within a game. Um, that's just through my own stupidity to be honest with you. And a little bit of laziness as well. Neck snapping and jump kicking is pretty much the fun of the game here. Hello, human. There we go, so we end up killing Harry in his backside. That's the good thing about this weapon, guys, is when people do have the backs turned to you, you're going to have a high advantage over them, um, unless they suddenly turn around or anything like that. But generally, in Titanfall, you're not going to find many players that will actually turn around. You can see this one here, he sneakily went over here, and there we go, we're struggling to get him, da -da 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 -da. needed to reload, and we end up taking him out as well. So this gameplay is not like we are actually just camping in a corner waiting for all the auto pistols to come to us guys. You can see I'm currently on 64 points. Do have a little bit of a cold guys, so that's why my voice is a wee bit croaker. 
The Odyssey is coming online. Transfer initiated. Warning. Multiple threats attacking. Schematics for Demeter? Damn right, fish. Shut that place. Alright, so we end up in our first uh, Titan battle there. And the guy was, I believe, I think he was in an ogre. Um, uh, we actually have three different titans that are attacking at the same time, we've got one, two and three. Uh, the third one is on the other side of the map, but I've got two that are hunting me down. And all I'm trying to do is not get flanked, keep backing off, use the smoke to my advantage. And the triple threat, yeah, simple as that, the triple threat is just a beast for taking out packs and stuff like that. But it's also a beast of a titan killer as you can see here, there you go. I basically got no health left whatsoever, so what we're going to end up doing is ejecting from this one. Uh, I just love that sound the next snapping makes. Human! Oh no! Okay, I missed him so he ended up jump kicking him before he ended up taking me out. Uh, that's one of the things if you do accidentally miss or some stupid misses like I did there, for example, um, what you want to do is you do want to try and just melee them because your gun isn't going to lock on as fast as they're going to be able to react unless they're one of the slowest players you'll see. And damn it, they took my Titan out again. Okay, so they took the Titan out, but I can see that I've got eyes on this guy on the roof. So I just want to go behind him. Yep, do, do. It's all about the auto pistol kills on this one. So there you go, we take him out. Now you'll notice that I actually do end up killing that Harry a lot in this game. And uh, you're going to see my curse work into action as well. There you go, Harry again. Alright guys, um, basically if you like my content don't forget to like, comment, subscribe to videos. Um, basically every little helps guys, I love you all watching my videos and I hope you do enjoy the content that I do bring out. You can see within this gameplay that I do end up um, finding Harry a hell of a lot in the game. Um, I think all of his deaths were basically me. And then the other random kills was different players and stuff like that. But attrition is all about grunts, spectres, titan kills and pilot kills. It's not just pilot kills, that's what pilot hunters is designed for guys. You can see me find this guy here called Hexile camping in a corner. Um, basically what you'll find with new players is they play the game a lot more like COD players. So what you'll find is most of them will be in corners and stuff like that rather than in the open and wall jumping, wall hanging or anything like that. So you can actually pretty much use your own mind as to where they'll be, like I just jump kick Harry again. Seriously, could I run into that guy anymore? I wonder who this one is. Oh, that's actually someone different. Nice hood. I was expecting it to be Harry, to be honest. By the end of this game, I'm pretty sure that Harry's gonna hate me. This intel is a gold mine, Mac. But kicking the IMC out of the frontier is just impossible. Wrong word, fish. This scenario can work. Okay, so all I'm doing now is just going back on the hunt. As you can tell, it's completely flawless gameplay, and then it ends up getting ruined right towards the end. Because I end up getting shot. I don't know where I'm getting shot by, and I'm like, shit, shit, shit. I try to get to cover, and unfortunately, it doesn't pay off. <laughs> 
As you can see, just being shot. Where the frick is it? I can't see him. Let's try and get in here. And as soon as I get in, I actually got taken out. Okay, so there's my one and only death of the game, guys. And you can see we actually picked up a defeat there. How we got a defeat when I got 142 points gameplay, I have absolutely no idea. Obviously, my team wasn't the best. But, yeah, guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe the videos. And it's simple as that, really. Thank you very much.